Well, hello, everyone. Is that creepy? Yeah. A little bit. Right. Hello, everyone. You're not a vampire. Hello, neighbor. My name is Mr. Rogers. I'm the trolley boy. Okay, cut. Edit. <laughs> Yesterday, I forgot the, the, we call it the chip thing for the camera, can't think of that. We've already been busy today, we've got to turn on the camera again. But yesterday we forgot the chip, so I couldn't turn on the camera. Took a few video footage of, with our cell phones. We got, what did we get done yesterday? I don't remember. Oh, concrete. <laughs> We're both tired. We got the concrete done. Got here this morning and saw there was a couple little hairline cracks in it. It's rustic. It's rustic. It's rustic. The dye, um, I, I, I think there's a little bit of the white that maybe water that came up from the gray underneath, which actually kind of turned out cool. I like the variation in it. I think that's really cool. But uh, the cracks, we don't know what happened. I've never had that happen in the past when I did it. We think that maybe it dried too quick and we left it overnight. We didn't get here today. We had some things to do this morning. So we didn't get here till about one, one o'clock. So maybe we should have uh, sp spritz some water on it or something. That may be the reason. Maybe it dried too quick. It was hot in here. Uh, it was hot in here. It's hot today. It's getting hotter this whole week. Um, so as long as it doesn't go any more than that, I think we're safe. And regardless, the stove is gonna be right over that anyway. But it does kind of look cool, it looks aged, so we're fine with it. So right now, started putting up the black plastic. Didn't realize that the charger for the stapler was off, so the battery died pretty quick. We'll finish that, get that going here in a second. Meanwhile, putting brackets up to hold the, the beams up. And then we do have what we worked on the other day, our mantle. This is that, and what we did yesterday is we took a sander to it, just kind of just kind of bumped the edges a little bit to break up the solidness of that dark walnut stain that we used. And anyway, it's, so now we're thinking about how we're gonna do our ship lap from here using that. So we're gonna be adding three down of ship lap. So that's the plan, man. Alright, here we go. Now what we gotta do is get this up here and make sure it is level level. Nice good level. This is perfect. Going for the drill. We're gonna get this thing in there. Alright, I might have you hold this one now. Down here. I need to take off my shoes. Can I stand on this? Uh, I wouldn't. You can, you can stand across if you want. And so, what we're going to do is kind of push this way. A bit.
cold. All right, so we're gonna put some plywood on the back of the where the fireplace goes. And this particular piece was an old piece that was on the hay trailer that we took off and we just did a quick sand on it, primered it. This side is gonna face the furnace. We did a black paint too, but we're gonna have, we're gonna cover it with metal just in case we punch through the metal, we don't want white showing or if, if it's not, if it adjusts for whatever reason. And then we put a little hidden Aww. mark of our project in our uh, caboose. I don't think it's going anywhere, babe. We are back. We are back in the house. All right, um, today, it's Sunday, but it's still Saturday, just like every day. Um, got some cool new things. First off, yesterday, I uh, had a great day. We went and saw our friend's property. We spent the day, uh, took a day off from working in um, 40 acres he bought out in Vernon, and it's pretty cool. We took some video footage, too, so we'll see how we can work that in or maybe we're just going to do a video like for him but 
anyway, um, while we're out there, we picked up these green or turquoise type of um, stools. And they're pretty cool. They're not bar height. They're, they kind of look like bar stools, but I know there, there's different styles of these metal type, but that's kind of what we're going for. Not necessarily color. We may paint them and do something different with the paint. Uh, just kind of depends on where we end up putting them. We think we're going to put them where the uh, little bar top area is, um, where the drink window is. And then we got uh, in the mail, we got our welder. It's just a, it was on sale. So I thought, hey, let's try this thing out for, see if it's any good. Only a couple hundred bucks. It was regular price, like 280. Got that on sale. We do that with Home Depot a lot and Lowe's sometimes. Is if they have deals of the day and we think it might be something we can use, we'll get them. And then we have these things. Holy smokes. These are brackets. Let's see if I can get one out. There we go. I don't know if it's officially in post base. So these are eight by eight for eight by eight beams. We're gonna go with eight by eight for our all our main structure. Um, Mainly the, for the the patio cover, yeah. patio covers for the front door, and also for the box car deck. We're gonna have a cover there that we're gonna use eight by eights, and also where the drink window is, we're gonna put a cover over there, um, and put some eight by eights in there. These were on sale, so we had to get twelve of them. These are not cheap. These are we got them on sale for like eighty six bucks, I think it was each. And I think they were regular $106, so we saved about 300 bucks that way. So we try to do that, try to think of the future. If we see a deal, get it now and save in the long run. So we'll be storing that because that'll be when we start our, after we get our permits done. All right, so today we are back to the caboose. Almost 
there. Oh, uh, come this way. This way, right there. This is what we're going to do. Yeah, one, two, I can this trim underneath it. Yeah, put, give me a little one. Yeah, two-tone. inch inch so it'll be good you like it yeah I really like this I think it's cute Do a little touch of stain Oops, so far so good We are cutting corrugated metal, piece of metal that we found on the side of the road, sitting there for like a week. We're like, let's pick it up. We'll do something with it. And now that Janae wants to use this, it's the backdrop to the fireplace, which I think it, it'll be cool if we you know, don't have this. I think it's three, so I just measured it. It's three feet right here by almost two feet. So we have a little trimming to do. This cuts easy. Is wine. So we need to make sure we get the wine. But we're going to do anywhere from 23 to 24. It matches the inside of that. 
Here, hold it. I'm gonna take a picture. This sticks out a lot. Isn't it cute? Okay. Do you like? Uh, brings more to it, and once you put that there, it's not gonna feel like there's a big space behind it. Yeah. This will be cute with stockings hanging from it, and then we can put more stuff up here to the she had, you can pick She came to let me do the rustic industrial pipe like this to hold it up. So, oh, okay. Yeah, that looks good too. Ah, that looks good too. Okay, babe. Hold it. this Home Depot, like 21 bucks, give or take. Uh, it's a sealer, so it seals, enhances concrete, masonry surfaces, superior protection, gets water damage, UV, and stains. Not really worry about this since it's all rustic. It's not even going to be in the sun, but this part, sealing enhances, you kind of get that wet look going. I think you'll just make the concrete look a little more finished than just, even though we put a dye in it. Um, I think it'll make it a little better. All right, I don't know how thick, so I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. No, I guess I got to take this off, don't I? There we go. Such a cool pattern. to use for our trash can station because we're going to do concrete you know the thing to where you put the trash in the holes all right that's strong let's get out of here <laughs> Tell her to bring a fly swimmer, because I don't know if this will get out. Oh, my heck. 